everybody. Welcome back to Nga again. Hey, so remember a long time ago, whenever I made a video showing you how to make a keyboard layout for Windows? Pretty much immediately after I made that video, I was recommended a different platform, an open source free to use platform called Keyman that lets you create the keyboards and all that, export them, download it, etc. And it's actually like way more easy and way better than just doing it through Windows itself. So I said a while ago I'd do a video on it and here I am doing a video on it because it's, it's actually really good. Like I finally tested it out and it actually is like way better than doing it on Windows. So it's so much more simple that this is gonna be a pretty short video but that's fine that's fine so here we go I'm gonna show you how to install it how to use it how to export it and then it's a happy ending it's pretty easy here we go alright so there's there's two important links that you're gonna need for this the first link is this one here uh, the 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 keyman.com slash developer right pretty simple uh, you're also going to need this link right here, which is keyman.com slash desktop slash download. The first step is you need to go down here. You need to click on the Keyman Developer 13. This is the this is the tool that lets you create the keyboard. So you go here and then you go to download and then you hit this download button right here. Um, don't don't do this one. Um, it, that that's a separate and also rather helpful tool but we don't need to worry about that right now you just want to do keyman developer 13 you gotta download it here it's safe you're not gonna you're not gonna be asked to download free RAM or anything you're all good and then um, you know save the file open it I already installed it so I'm not gonna click it but you know the drill open it up do all the download things and then once it gets downloaded you need to also download this guy right here it's on the, uh, the 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 Keyman Desktop 13, completely free. And so you want to skip down through all of these unless you really want these specific language keyboards. And you need to go down here. And you need to download Keyman Desktop 13 without any keyboards because this is what you use to um, to be compatible with creating your own custom keyboards and stuff. So same thing, you just download that save the file etc and then it'll open up a thing but what you need is to open up keyman developer which shows up in my desktop over here so here it creates these two icons right there's keyman desktop and keyman developer so you want to go into keyman developer first open that up right I, I already created one called screaming which is just a bunch of ah I'll, I'll show you that one as a sample later but um but basically you go in, you create new keyboard, you create a name for it. Uh, what am I gonna call this one? I'll call it uh, I'll call it Screaming Two. <laughs> Oops, I forgot. I'm still on Screaming One right now. All right, I'm just gonna keep it as that. Who know? Who cares? <laughs> All right. So again, Screaming Two, which will come out like that, and. Look at this, this is the best part right here. Whereas the previous video that I did was specifically just for Windows, this one, you can create the keyboard for like all the operating systems. Like you can make it for Windows, you can make it for Mac, Linux, web, iPhone, iPad, Android phone, Android tablet, just general mobile, general desktop and general tablet, or you could just set it on any. And that's what I'm going to do for this one. Just, just, to, just to keep it easy. All right, and so we're gonna say, let's do copyright 1783. Why not? Um, message. Uh, it'll be in screaming, but ch change the world. My final message. There you go. <laughs> Keyboard version one. Cool. All right. So we have now created it. That's the required information. Then you go on to this little button over here that says layout, right? And layout, obviously, takes you to a big old layout, right? And here is an actual keyboard, right? Where you can fill in any information that you want, right? You can, I, I could put in any of this stuff in here, 
right? Just I'm just filling it up with completely random gibberish and in some of these. And then over on the right you have like a character map. So you can go through and it has like the whole the whole Unicode just kind of stored in here. Like all of it. So if I want to make this one right there, you just kind of double click it. Well, whenever you have a certain key selected and then it just slaps it in there, right? So you could just do that. You could search through or you could go onto the internet, you know, just to just go on to T with a Charon on it, right? So you could just kind of copy and paste it because, you know, if it exists on Wikipedia and it's showing up on Wikipedia, it's in the Unicode anyway. So you could just do it like that. You could just control V, just paste it in and then you got it right and so you could just keep on going until you have yourself a full full-fledged keyboard sitting in here but yeah the, this just goes to show like it's super easy to create so one, once you have your keyboard all set up which i assume it's going to look a lot better than this <laughs> then you're going to go to build and then you're going to hit install right and then you're going to hit that it's going to load for a teeny bit right it'll flash a little like that and then suddenly you go to your your list of keyboards and then it'll show up with this little the little keyman logo on it right but it'll show up in your list of keyboards so i have screaming and then there's the one that i just made right now which <laughs> is screaming too but of course written in screaming yep and there we go look at all that uh just just, just like that all that madness spewing straight out of the keyboard just like that so that is literally it and again that only works if you have both the keyman developer and the keyman desktop installed i didn't even want to go through the effort of showing you the error message that comes through if you try and do this without having keyman desktop installed but it makes an error message so this is so much easier than doing the windows keyboard layout creator method and i mean that wasn't even that hard it wasn't even that hard it's just unreliable because for a solid three months that download link to the windows keyboard layout generator just was taken off of the windows website so this is more consistent it's a higher quality app it helps you out more it simplifies the process a lot overall it's way better way easier way more intuitive and it works assumedly with all of the platforms windows mac linux mobile devices in general everything so I obviously still appreciate the value of my previous tutorial, but I will wholeheartedly say that Keyman is a lot better for putting your conlangs onto your computer as actual typable keyboards. There you go. I mean, that, that's, that's pretty much it. It's that simple. All right, that's that's all I've got for today. <laughs> like honestly, that was really quick. <laughs> but I just had to show this off because it's so much easier than the previous version. Um, I'm gonna probably be doing more Conlang tool reviews in the near future. So if you have any tools that I haven't yet done reviews on, then like leave them in the comment section below so I can take take a look at them and then give them give them a review and tutorial just like I did with this and just like I've done with a couple other things in the past it's really fun and it's really helpful and I mean it helps me just as much as it helps everybody else it's really fun <laughs> so until next time be sure to like comment subscribe support me on patreon and become a, a true soulmate of mine um, Join the Discord server. We have a really good time on there. We're doing a collab lang a showcase for that should be coming out relatively soon. I've got some big projects coming up and some big collabs with other uh, conlang related YouTubers coming out. I recently did a a, sh uh, a little cameo in in Draconex video. Um, you should definitely go check that out. He did like a Q and A, and I was in there. Um, but that's nothing compared to the stuff that we're gonna be doing in the time going forward you'll see it, it, it's gonna be a good time i am excited i am very excited so yeah stay tuned for next time until then nah out big thank you to eternal bin harkness pig flyer squarebo margaret t palatar in flimsy butterscotch gym, yeah.